You feel that? Ah! What's good, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's the one and only Ty the Guy. And you know I'm wearing my Lakers jersey because we just won our fourth ring for LeBron James. Now, I wasn't a Lakers fan before that, but you know what I'm saying? Once LeBron went to the goddamn Lakers, I was really feeling the vibe. Anyways, guys, before we get any further in this amazing MT apartment tour, um, I do want to say I appreciate all the support. Uh, yeah, it was tough leaving my homies. It was real tough leaving my friends. They was like my family. But also, I missed out on three years of, you know, my actual family, man. And honestly, bro, it was really not. I feel like, man, my family is really important to me. So I made the move to come back, be closer to my family, and still do the same thing. You know, God, God really blessed me, man. So I'm really thankful to be in the position that I'm in to do what I love to do. You know, I do multiple things. I ain't stressing about, like, I, 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 I do my thing. It's how the guy do his thing. This is my crib, and we finna get straight to it. Over here, we have my lovely refrigerator. I ain't go, I really didn't go grocery shopping like that yet, but as you can see, I'm really like a liquid type dude. You see what's going on, man. I ain't gonna go too much far into my cabinets and stuff like that, but over here, we got this my book collection. This is one that I'm about to start reading, man. Out with the devil. Bone Collector's wife gave me this book. I read the first Napoleon Hill book, Thinking Grow Rich, and it was a really good book. So I know this one's gonna be good. My friends, they even told me this book's gonna change my life. And I ain't gonna lie, man. Reading has done a lot for me mentally. It takes it takes my mind off of being in a being in cyber world, man, because. You know, my job is social media, uh, I do YouTube, I play video games, and that's all your mind and your brain will consume, you know? So when I read, it really makes me feel, it takes me away from that, and it makes your outlook on life look like it's supposed to look. I know this book is really gonna open up my mind some more. Hustle harder, hustle smarter. Shout out to 50 Cent. This book right here is the truth. The first book I ever picked up. I'm around like page 192. Black Privilege by Charlemagne the God. You know, and I got this because I don't know, it's just like something about black people and writing books that are successful. I just, I, I look at it like, <clears throat> damn, this is some real shit, bro. Like, this dude had some of the same problems as me as a black man. So, why not learn about his story? You know what I'm saying? Educate my mind a little bit more. Over here, we got, uh, this is my YouTube Black trophy. Uh, when I got invited to YouTube Black, I never been invited to YouTube Black besides this first time, which was last year. And I got a t-shirt and some other stuff, made some cool connections over there. It was super, 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 super dope. And right here is my 100,000 subscriber plaque. No cap, man, this right here really, really, really means something to me. Like, imagine, I'm almost at 500K. So if you're watching this right now, make sure to subscribe, like the video. I'm almost at, almost at half a million freaking subscribers. Imagine five of these. Boom, 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 boom. I want my, I want two. And we're gonna get the meal flat too. We gonna for sure get the meal flat too. That was a, a nice fun day. I think I vlogged it. Uh, yeah, I think I did. Over here we got a nice electric stove. This gonna be my first time cooking on electric. I like, you know, I cook my salmon and stuff, man. I need my drip, man. I need my salmon to be tasting exactly how it's supposed to taste. So this is gonna be a challenge for me. Of course, we still gonna have cooking with Tyler Guy. That ain't going nowhere. We gotta do some more of those and I'm gonna start, you know, getting into the role of posting like I used to and really switch up the content, man. It's, it's really gonna be lit. It's really gonna be lit. Right here, this is where paper plates, all that shit. This is the snack drawer right here. We got the goddamn Jello, uh, goddamn popcorn. I'm gonna put y'all on. I'm gonna let y'all know if this is ass or not because I've never had it, but I love popcorn, so hopefully that's good. Uh, we got gushers on deck. This is like my favorite thing to snack on. Should be fucking my teeth up. This is the living room, uh, as y'all can see. And we ain't got shit in here yet, man. It was expensive as hell moving. 
moving some shit. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. My next check, guys, I'm gonna get some damn furniture and shit. I got one to get a big 65 inch and slap it on the wall. I think that would be really, really dope. Me and my girl is gonna do the living room nice and nice how it's supposed to be. One thing that I didn't have before that I'm extremely thankful for and I love is this right here. You know, I didn't have a gaming room. I just had that little area over there at my old crib. But yeah, y'all, that's the living room. We finna get into the time I got space now, man. Woo, man. This right here is where it's gonna go down. I don't have none of my old shit, man. If y'all watched the last video, you would know I had the freaking, bro, y'all seen my setup. This shit right here, freaking broke, bro. On the, bro, so when I got this shit, it broke. So now I gotta get a whole nother freaking monitor, bro. Like that shit really pissed me the f um, get me a nice desk. I'm not sure if I wanna do an L, a L shape, and put the, the desk over here. I don't know what I wanna do, but this is gonna be like a nice little lounge for me. I got my studio. This is where we gonna be like, too much blue cheese, ain't no salad dressing. And my life, I done shed tears, I done talked about it, now I'm really here. You know what I'm saying? We could switch it up, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of recording in the crib. Like, I could not leave these at all. This is my Scarface one, and this is my Homer with the money. I just think those is hard as hell. I still got my speakers. Uh, by the way, oh shit, shit hurt my damn foot. Um, by the way, I can actually listen to my music now. I don't have no neighbors, so I'm good. Hold on, hold on. Obviously, we could not leave Black Panther Man. This, I'm gonna even switch up this. I switched up the side of my hat just to talk to this dude. Like, bro, Black Panther, bro, really means something to me, bro. Like, no lie, bro. Like, I'm a huge Marvel fan. My OG fans, my real nigga fans, y'all niggas know that. Like, Marvel has always been something to me. And when we got a black hero, like, that just hit different. So obviously, you know, I'ma be a ride or die for my black hero, no lie. So obviously, I uh, had this at the old crib. I made sure I took good care of it, packed it up real nice. Uh, this Black Panther jersey was actually sent to me from a sub. If you're watching this video, bruh, I forgot your name, but man, I, I appreciate it. And obviously, I still got it. I got my, uh, dude, I had all this shit before he passed, Chadwick passed too, man. Uh, he did an amazing job on that movie. I got my mask. Uh, shout out to my boy Chino. Chino made me this right here. Shout out to my brother Chino, man. This is one of one. Nobody got this shit. No lie, this is DC the Don's. Man, I ain't even going even go into too much depth, man. But y'all, y'all know, real niggas know what the fuck going on. Over here. Y'all know last time I only had one bathroom. Now, a young rich nigga got two bathrooms. We over here with, oh shit. I locked myself out. So we're gonna go over here with. Whew. You sure you wanna walk in here, it might smell like shit. Dante, <laughs> y'all probably see him in the reflection, man. This is my nigga Dante. Uh, I got a big ass mirror. This is just really gonna be the guest bathroom. It's a lot of cabinet space. I might put some of my drawers in here, I don't know. I got a lot of cabinets for no reason, to be honest with you. We got a big tub, this for me and my girlfriend. Gonna do, uh, we're gonna play uh, ducks in this tub together. This right here uh, is a booty wiper. It's called a boudai. If anybody ever used the boudai, comment down below. It squirt water on your booty so it clean your booty good. So I'm gonna hook this up and let y'all know how it's going, man, because I never had nothing squirt up my butt. Uh, pause, pause. Now, this closet is my closet. My girl got her own closet, man, and uh, I don't know if y'all ready for this heat. Now, I have no clothes, man, I ain't gonna lie. I got no clothes because I, I, left, I left a lot of shit and gave it to Goodwill, man, and uh, what I got now is you gonna see what you're gonna see. 
But, as you can see, this is my closet. I got a big ass closet. A closet as big as hell. Uh, I got, I still gotta hang some stuff up. I got some t-shirts everywhere. I still just been throwing stuff in. Uh, my Gucci bag. Shout out to Gucci. All my pop figures that I had. Obviously, bruh. Dog, y'all know it was hard as hell. Y'all know it was hard as hell to ship a light. Bro, I had to ship a lot of stuff. This was a very, very, very expensive move for me. No freaking lie. But I got my shoes here. I got some shoes outside. Let's go right here, my uh, Alexander McQueen's. But these is all my shoes. I got a, a nice amount of shoes. I might switch up the layout one day, but I'm gonna always leave the shoes on top because I just feel like it's a vibe. I got all my hoodies over here, all my jerseys right here. And obviously, bro, like, real niggas know what's going on. Like, real niggas know what is going on. We finna rare this the rest of this video. You know, no cap. And tell me if I look the same. I'm trying to grow a beard, but like, I might just cut that shit, man. It's too hard to grow this beard, man. Might have to start eating my girl booty. That's what people say about growing uh, a beard. You gotta eat booty. But I don't know, we're probably about to run into my girl. She's probably on, a, on our nice air mattress. Comment down below if I still look sexy as I did, you know, back in the day, man. Bang. Uh, I hope you have clothes on, bang. My girl, oh, matter of fact, hold on. Before we uh, even get even further to it, man, y'all see the goddamn view, man. This is my room. I know, this is nice. Yeah, this is my freaking room. This is where the magic gonna happen. And I don't know how we gonna do bro. This room is really big as shit. Seriously. This room is big as shit. On camera, it might not, I don't know. I'm just tell you straight up, this room is big as shit. We're gonna put a TV on the wall over here. It's gonna pull out. No, I think it's gonna be over here. You're gonna pull out and like twist it and rotate it and stuff like that. The room is nice when it's nighttime, all the, the city light up and everything. Hella nice. Uh, it's really the same layout on this side. You wanna come help me talk back? Okay guys, so this is our master bathroom and we have two sinks and I'm super grateful for that. So this one is my bae side. Yeah. Your what? Oh, my bae. Your what? My bae. No, I'm your bae. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so this is his side. He got all his little stuff, little bit of stuff over right here. And then over here, the very clean side is mine. This is my side, my nice little flower. Very clean. Yeah, yeah, it's really cluttered over there. No, this right here, every man should have they drip just like this, nice and organized. You see, I got a toothbrush. I do be brushing my teeth. I take care of myself. I'm a young black man that takes good care of himself, man. Like, anytime I look in the mirror, I just be like, damn, like, I'm sexy. You think I'm sexy? Bang. Let's show them the uh, shower, man. Me and my dad. It's a walk-in shower, so it's very spacious and nice, right? Don't you yeah. have a shower? Um, me and her both can fit in the shower. That's crazy. Like, if you know what's going on, if you know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> this right here is, um... Okay, and then this is my closet. This is my side. Don't mind, I have a lot of clothes everywhere. I haven't finished unpacking, but this is a very big closet. Mm -hmm. No, I can't wait to make it like super cute, guys. It's gonna be nice. That's for all the ladies, though. So if you're a lady, or if you do, you can go ahead and watch my girl stuff. But ladies, for sure, my girl be doing her thing. Check me out. And uh, she be doing her thing. Her link is in the description. Uh, what else we got? Um, I guess I can show you all the balcony. And, uh, Oh, matter of fact, before we go over there, I gotta show y'all what's going on over here. This guy, dang, look. This ain't no broke nigga uh, washer and dryer. This is crazy. I ain't never had a washer and dryer like this. This shit hit different. All you gotta do is drop your shit in, 
Come over here, god dang, alley you that shit, and then you good. It's simple. But without further ado, you know, coming to the end, just gonna show y'all the time I got balcony, man. Ugh.